today I am showing you the cheapest buffet in Las Vegas. This city has so many buffets and they all have so much variety. From being able to get almost any cuisine you dream of to having a mountain of seafood on your plate. I have covered most buffets out here in Las Vegas, but I did just recently do the most expensive buffet, so I figured let's do a full 180 and show off the cheapest one. I'm getting pretty hungry, let's go. Fremont Street, well kind of technically, we are really more on Main Street. We are here at the Garden Court Buffet at the Main Street Station Hotel in downtown Las Vegas. So right now we are here during the weekday for their brunch buffet. So today we're only going to be paying $23.99. That's pretty cheap guys. Definitely less expensive than anything on the strip and for sure cheaper than the most expensive place we went to. Let's go inside. So now that we know where we're sitting, let's go get some food. I don't think I want salad. <laughs> that is cold. Mmm, bread. I know, I know, we're not supposed to do bread at a buffet, but it looks delicious. Bacon. I guess maybe this first place should be more breakfast. Yes, frittatas. Can I get a little piece of ham? I think it's enough. So I didn't really think too much about it, but the moment I hit the buffet line, I don't know what it was, but this breadstick called my name. And then once I grabbed it, I was like, no, 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 let's be organized. Let's go ahead and get more breakfast stuff for this first plate. So I got a few items here. And you know what? This buffet is actually pretty big. It had like a lot of different stations. It looks like when you first come in, they do have a salad station. Then you kind of circle around and you're gonna get more towards the breakfast item than the lunch items. And then further on, it has a dessert. So again, we are here for their brunch time. So a little bit of both selections. They had this ham right there that they just hand carve right there for you. It looked really good. Mmm, not bad. That is actually really good. Like it has a really nice amount of fat in it and it's like a little bit more on the flaky side right here but i actually really like that mm. when i first came in i actually really didn't even know what to expect just because it is on the more budget side but i mean first day so far pretty good let's try the other type of ham now which is bacon i really don't think you can mess up bacon but you never know let's see it is a little bit more on the dry side but honestly like it's still just fine i still be happy with this Let's go ahead and try this chicken fried steak right here. And what was actually pretty cool is that they had little portions of it right there and then topped off with gravy. That's all right. I mean, I feel like it could use a little bit more of salt. Before it gets too cold, I do want to try that breadstick that's so called my name. Kind of looks like an Olive Garden style breadstick. Oh, that's pretty good. They just need some marinara sauce or some ranch. Is that weird? I, I like to dip my breadsticks in ranch, but what do you guys think? Very buttery. Next, we're gonna try out their frittata. I was actually really excited when I saw it because I really do love frittatas. Oh, okay. This is the inside of it right there. I think they said this was a vegetable frittata, so it looks like it has like some tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, some greens. It does kind of taste a little bit like it was made with like pre-made eggs, like eggs maybe out of the carton. The consistency itself, it's kind of like a little bit more smooth, a lot more than what like traditional eggs would taste like. You know what it needs? It needs some cheese in there. That's what it needs. <laughs> but again, I'm really glad that they made it into like individual portions. That's cool. Then I did get some regular eggs too, just in case. You can definitely taste the butter in these runs. You know what they kind of taste like? You know when you go and you stay like at a Best Western or any of those like hotels that comes with breakfast in the morning? It kind of tastes like those eggs, but I don't mean it in a bad way. Like that's, that's actually a good thing. Like it brings me good memories. So yeah, I kind of end up liking the regular eggs better than the frittata. And finally, let's try this apple crepe. We got the apples in there. They're probably like out of a can, honestly. It kind of reminds me like of a McDonald's apple pie, but the crepe instead of the pie shell. So this is called the Garden Court Buffet, which is actually really funny because the buffet over at the South Point Hotel, I think it's also called Garden Court. So maybe if you're meeting people, make sure you clarify which one you're going to. They do offer brunch every single day from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. Of course, the weekdays are gonna be a little bit cheaper at $23.99, and then on the weekends, it's $26.99. If you do have kids with you ages four to 10, they are half off of that price, and then three and under are free. Now, if you do wanna do dinner, though, it is only on the weekends on Friday Fridays and Saturdays from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. and that's gonna be $32.99 per person. Now the cool thing though is that if you are part of their Boyd Rewards, if you are the Emerald and up, which I think it is their second tier, you do get $3 off per person. For this one, they do not accept a reservation, so it is just gonna be walk-in, but we got in pretty quick. Second plate time. Yes! Trade is here. It's new coffee time. I was starting to get the itis, so I definitely needed this energy boost. 
I am so excited because I love discovering new coffees and Trade Coffee is great since they work with over 55 of the top roasters so you can make your best cup at home. Woo! I got energy just from smelling that. They have flexible subscription plans and a diverse assortment of roasts that get tailored to you. It comes with free shipping, customizable plans, and you can cancel at any time. And the best part is that the coffee is shipped to your house within 48 hours of being roasted, so it's always fresh. Okay, I have to get out my pretty cup for this. So this one says it's a medium rose with notes of caramel, pecan, and molasses. Ooh, ooh, that's a really nice roast. Nice. So if you want to give them a try, just make sure you click on the link down below so you can get a free bag of coffee with any subscription. Cheers. Oh, now these are the warm ones. I'm thinking we should get maybe more lunch style options. Ooh, fried chicken, mac and cheese. So we have our second plate now, and this is gonna be more of the actual lunch options. So it's funny, once I started grabbing everything, I noticed I was kind of building like a typical KFC style plate here. So you got like your mac and cheese, your mashed potatoes, fried chicken, a biscuit. And I mean, technically I don't think they serve yams at KFC, but it's still Southern style. Let's start off with the main piece, which is gonna be their chicken. Oh, that's good. That's like a really nice crunchy outside. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but the wing is always my favorite part of the chicken. Like I could have wings all the time. I'll be back for you, sir. Next up, I wanna try their mashed potatoes right here. And they did have some gravy right there too that you can pour over it. Can't put my finger on it, but it is a very flavorful gravy. I don't know if it's like a chicken flavoring or something, but it's pretty good. And honestly, the potatoes are very similar to those of KFC's. Mm. Try some mac and cheese here. It looks actually really cheesy. It's all right, it's not too bad. I do feel like it could be a little cheesier. I'm gonna try now their biscuit here. Oh, okay. I should have grabbed butter. It's okay. Oh, that's good. I hate to compare everything to KFC, but I feel like this is like almost identical. This is really good on its own, but I think butter would have made it a little better. And then finally, the sweet potatoes or the yams, I believe. That's good. I think right here, this is sugar. Maybe brown sugar or molasses even. Yeah, that's definitely some burnt sugar. What I do think is really cool is how beautiful this buffet is. Like, I've never seen a buffet that has like all these really nice lights, all these amazing statues, really nice chandeliers, and even vintage style fans. Even check out this window, this is so cool. And those chandeliers itself, they came from the San Francisco Opera House that were made back in 1850. So it really feels like we're at a buffet, but like back in time. And I mean, even the rest of the hotel makes you feel like you're back in the 18 or early 1900s. Now something else that's really cool is that if you wanted to have some alcohol along with your brunch, they do sell bottles of champagne for $20. That's really cheap. So it's like you can have a true Vegas style mimosa brunch anytime. Now we're off to get our third plate, which is usually my plate of randomness. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything. Some chicken. Let's try kielbasa. So this is my third plate of buffet randomness. I don't know, they're just like some items that I saw that I was kind of curious about. So this was the time to try them. I should probably try the pizza first. I did go ahead and add on a little bit of Parmesan cheese and peppers just to give it that little bit extra crunch. It's honestly just okay. I do personally think they needed to add just a little bit more marinara sauce into it. I hate to say guys, not my favorite pizza I've tried in Vegas. So next thing we're gonna try is their shoyu chicken, which it kind of looks like an Asian style type of chicken. The chicken skin definitely looks uh, crispy. <laughs> Try just chicken itself first. Okay, not bad. I could definitely tell that's a thigh because it's a little bit more on the juicier and fattier side. I can definitely taste kind of like the Asian style of sauce right there. Kind of like maybe like a soy and sugar type of sauce. I really want to try this <laughs> chicken skin, wow. It almost looks like duck skin or something. Oh, that's not too bad. I do personally like chicken skin and duck skin, so I, you know, I'll always enjoy it. Next up is going to be their kielbasa. They did have that area where like you cut the ham and then they had different types of sausages. They had an Italian sausage as well. But I don't know, I never really had kielbasa, so I figured this is a place to try something different. Oh, that was crunchy. But like I bit it and it like, it, like popped right away. It's like ASMR. Okay, enough, let's actually eat it now. I've never really had kielbasa anywhere else, so I can't really compare it to anything, but it is like a little bit on the fatty side for me. But that's really cool that they were able to have like other style of cuisines here at this buffet. And then of course I went ahead and I got some sort of fruit, you know, try to get a little bit of healthy stuff in this meal. Something that I did kind of notice though over in that fruit section is that a lot of it was like canned salad fruits. Like I think they had like canned peaches or canned apples. So this was like the only fresh one they had, which was fresh cantaloupe and then they had pineapple too. And just a little bit of pineapple, but not too much because then like it'll start like scraping my tongue or I don't know, it feels weird. But the cantaloupe is always good. My last healthy buy before we get dessert. I think 
I saw a cheesecake over here calling my name. Found it. Ah, what is this? Oh, I gotta have this. Got all the sugar needed for the whole next week. Okay guys, dessert is finally here. So they did have a few selections there from like pies, they had cakes as well. Uh, looks like different pastries. And they even had this pudding right here, which I just had to try. They did have a frozen yogurt section that you can serve yourself onto a cone and then just dress up your ice cream too. I do want to try this cheesecake first. I don't know about you guys, the best cheesecake I've ever had in my life. I mean, it's been a while, but I remember really liking Jack in a Box cheesecake as a kid. I don't know, let me know if you guys ever tried that. Might be comparing it to that. Oh no, it's actually really good and it's really rich too. Look how thick that is. I'm very surprised by their cheesecake. I really do like it. And they also did have a bread pudding there. Kind of really looks more like flan, honestly. Yeah, look how moist and sugary that is. That is very moist. I am not sleeping for 48 hours after having this. <laughs> I like it though, it is like a really nice texture for this bread pudding. So I did get this because usually this is one of my favorite type of desserts because it has like the whipped cream on the inside and sometimes it'll have kind of like a creme anglaise in here. Oh my god, that's some sweet whipped cream. I do like the creme anglaise that's on the inside. Like if it was up to me, I would put way more creme anglaise and then like less whipped cream. And then finally, some chocolate pudding. Look how jiggly it is. It kind of just tastes like, yeah, like those snack packs or like the jello ones where it was like chocolate and then like had like a lighter chocolate in the middle, not sure. I don't hate it. I feel like I'm 10 years old again in school. Mm. I'm pretty full, guys. So this was the cheapest buffet that was on the touristy Las Vegas area, so between the Strip and downtown. Yes, there are other buffets, of course, like in Chinatown, like in South Point, some other casinos that are a little bit cheaper, but you know, I did want to keep you guys in the more central area, you know. I don't want to have to send you super far into the city where like your Uber costs more than the actual food. So if you want something that's pretty nearby, then Main Street is the place for you. This was my first time dining here at the Main Street Buffet, so I just wanted to show you guys a different options so that way you guys can decide if coming to this buffet is worth it so if you have tried it let me know so as always guys please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe share it with your friends and comment below tell me what's your favorite buffet in Las Vegas thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next time we came downtown no that sounds weird <laughs> definitely less expensive than anything on this trip and def okay nah I'm saying definitely too much I probably should have gotten a warm plate oh well <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, it's gonna freeze all my food. No, that one's cold too. Okay. So again, we are here for their brunch. Are you here for their brunch time? Why am I getting this food? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. So many noises in here. And then if you wanna do dinner, it is only gonna be on the weekends, on Fridays and Saturdays. Now, if you do want to do dinner, it is only going to be on Fridays and Saturdays from 4 p.m. until... <laughs> However, though, if you don't want to get the... Oh, hold on. Um, we did not get the most aesthetic table here. <laughs> There's a lot of families here, let me just say that. <laughs> okay, enough. Let's actually eat it now. They did also have a self-serve frozen yogurt place that you can serve. What am I saying? I'm squishy at the bottom. I know, I'm sorry, I'm cheating. I'm taking off most of the whipped cream off of here. So as always guys, please make, oh my lord. I'm gonna cry. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me if you've been to it now. I don't think I'm opening it right. Do I need scissors? <laughs> Silence!